I grew up here in Cincinnati on the western side of town. I decided at a young age I wanted to be a lawyer. I, in some circles, am known as the youngest Meyer girl. Um, I have a big family all here in town and we get together very often. I uh, also am the mother of a nine-month-old son, the wife of a wonderful husband. I'm a huge fan of hiking and running and doing anything outdoors. Uh, we love wine, we love to, I don't cook, my husband loves to cook, I love to eat. Well, the last song that I remember humming or singing along to has nothing to do with my pianist husband. It has to do with my nine-month-old son. <laughs> So I'm sure it was something like, I'm a little teapot. But our house is always filled with music, whether it's classical music playing, whether it's kids songs playing, or whether it's my husband practicing in the background. There is constant music in the, within the four walls of our house, for sure. I don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out this work-life balance that I have taken a whole different approach, which is to embrace your chaos. And what I mean by that is not forget any notion of ever feeling rested or having balance. If you have chaos, it means you're making a lot of stuff happen and you're engaging and you should celebrate the chaos. I venture to say every woman would tell you there is chaos in her life. And if you're always trying to get rid of it, I think you're rejecting the life that you're creating for yourself. I've had the good fortune to be mentored by a lot of people in the past and, and frankly today still I have a lot of good mentors who I rely on in lots of different areas. But if I had to pick one mentor, his name was Dick Gaylor. Um, Dick passed away unfortunately a few years ago. Dick taught me that in a business that's all about service, which law is, that it's really about people and that people are the single most important part of every day that I come to work. There's a book called um, Three Cups of Tea which is about a man from the States who has started a series of schools in Afghanistan and it really moved me. And as I was talking about this, my husband said to me, why would you go all the way to the other side of the world to do that when there are girls in Cincinnati who need to be taught the value of education? I think I might stay right here in Cincinnati where little girls are not getting the right message about the importance of education and help them really, really move through in a strong way. So what are my goals for the future? FBT Cincinnati has a lot of great stuff going on. Our firm, Bigger Picture, um, we're a nine office law firm in a five state region and so we have um, a lot of good things planned and on the table for 2014 that I'm thrilled to be a part of the leadership of. My son is at a point where he's going to be walking around and, and doing all sorts of things that little guys do so personally I'm very much looking forward to that. We have some good travel planned. Um, and, um, you know, otherwise creating more chaos.